Here is my Lindo guitar. The first thing to do is obviously put something down. Here I have an old towel in a delicious colour of uh, tangerine. There we go. Now it needs a change of strings because it's been gigged relentlessly for a long while. And it's been quite a few weeks since the last string change. In fact, I see quite a few months. And they're starting to get a bit dull. So this is how I change classical guitar strings and look after classical guitars. And I've been playing guitars for 30 years or more. So what you do is you loosen the tension. Get yourself one of these. This is a pair of nail clippers. And cut. Discard. Discard. Mr. Shane, honestly, as good as anything, as long as you don't use it on the neck, on the fretboard, it's okay, perfectly, to use this sort of stuff on guitars, no matter what other people try to tell you, because they just want you to buy expensive stuff, what you don't need, so Mr. Shane, perfect. an old it's just an old t-shirt <laughs> I've had this guitar for what oh, about four years now and I've been every time I do it there's no disintegration in the shine or anything you know it's great And stand up to the wear and tear. Another classic guitarist little uh, tip is when you take the strings off, mark the where your bass string is, your lowest thicker string, it, with a little bit of uh, you know pen or marker pen or anything like that. So when you when you put it back on, you know which way it goes round. Like that. Now this bit. Dunlop 65 lemon oil, perfect. Just uh, run up the neck. And that protects the neck. The open, uh, open pore. Of the wood. If you look closely, I'm going to have to get this neck sorted quite soon because I place. Didn't realise this, but I place so heavy that I'm starting to wear the wear the neck down. So I'm going to, I am going to have to take it to a professional and get that sorted. But at the moment, it's still functioning fine. Right. Now here's another fallacy, expensive guitar strings, I've tried them all, look at that, $1.99 but from Sue Ryder, the, um, the uh, charity shop, unfortunately Sue Ryder don't do these anymore, but these serve me gig after gig after gig, I used to get months out of these, 
months, you know, and the one ninety nine. So don't don't think you have to buy really, you know, unless you're like a genius classical guitarist. But if you're just, you know, strumming, strumming away, I mean, I play these strings really, really hard in the duo that I'm with. And check us out, old man's back, and you'll see how hard I. But here we go. E string, that's the heaviest string. This is what you do, folks. This way, through, under, through. A couple of times if you want, one more if you. A couple of times is always fine by me. More like that. Take it up the top. Get your holes all lined up. Makes it easier. Through. Excuse me. Through. Through. This is your bass string, remember, your thicker string. Then what you have to do is you have to lock it, lock it off. So you go through the hole and you go this way. And through again. Now, I don't know what other people do. This might be wrong. You know, the critics might say, oh, you don't do it that way, you don't do it that way. But I tell you, this is never, this method has never, ever let me down. I can play uh, two 45-minute sets and the guitar very, very rarely goes out of tune. Very rarely using this method, this lock-off method. Right, so there you are. You've followed the strings all the way down. Uh, and now you're left over these. Don't tighten the strings fully because this is what you have to do. This is what the classical guitarists do, this, this flamenco guitarist. What they do is they tuck their little bits in under here to make it all neat and tidy, like so. See? And then you tuck that one under there like that. And it's all neat and tidy and then what you can do is with your nail clippers you can just tidy up a little bit you've tied it but well we'll tune it first you know so now you're free to tune this is the uh the boring part because as you put a new set of strings on, as you should all know, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that they take time to stretch in, and you have to what I call bong them. And that is how you look after your classical guitar. Fantastic, look at that.